What's up, YouTube? Say good morning, Kyla. Good morning. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. It's gonna be a great day. Um, today, I'm gonna take you, I gotta go to the office, so I'm gonna head into the office. Maybe I'll take you in there and show you around the new office. And then later on, we're gonna go to Costco. We're gonna have one last Hi grocery guys. haul. Are oh, you going to Costco? There's oh, the wifey. Yeah. Hi, everyone. We're gonna have one last grocery haul. Um, we need to stock. The fridge. Not, sorry, not the last grocery haul, but we're getting rid of our car tomorrow. But, um, and we're not gonna get a new car. So we're living the no car life since we live in like downtown San Diego. We just don't need a car. So <laughs> I don't wanna say it's our last grocery haul at Costco, because it's not. Uh, fortunately, Jessica's parents have a condo like across the street. So whenever we need to go to Costco, we're gonna go with them to do hauls. So you're still gonna see the grocery hauls because I know you guys like the grocery hauls. <laughs> have to clarify that. I'm off to the office. I'll see you guys later. Bye, have a good day. Bye, baby. Love you guys. You guys are coming with me, though. So, guys, you can see why we don't need a car because we live in the downtown. We have a grocery store across the street. Uh, work is in walking distance. The gym is in walking distance. Parents live across the street who have a car. All the restaurants, everything downtown that we need is right here. So, that's why we don't have a car. And honestly, it just feels good to not have a car. Um, I'm not a very materialistic person. I'm more of like a minimalist, you know, except for sneakers. I love my sneakers. Plus, you get to walk more, good for exercise, love in the city life. Plus, let's be real, no car expenses, no car insurance, no car, no gas. Better for the environment, I think I mentioned. To us, it's just the way to go. So my office is just right over there. these are like co-working spaces here so different companies will rent out these spaces and my private office just a one-person office is down this way keep coming with me boom here we are stand desk got a chair got my filing cabinet here Got those books, got my YouTube plaque, got this uh, padded mat here for when I'm sitting. I can bring Bruno in, Bruno hangs out with me right there. And then I got my computer, my mic, all the good stuff here. So let me show you around the office here. So here's where I can print and fax things. Here's our kitchen. So we got coffee, and yes, I will take one of these right now. And we actually have a beer tap. So we got the Mission Blonde on tap. Ooh, almost overdid there with coffee. Fridge to put our foods. Here's the views. This is like a station where you can come out here and work if you want, but nice views of San Diego. And they have some of the best water here. This is like cucumber lemon water. Don't mind if I do. And there's also like boardrooms where when I have people come in for meetings. So uh, yeah, this is like a pretty decent spot here. Um, we're gonna be bringing on some new employees. So they'll be coming in here with us if they work in San Diego or if they're from out of town, if they work virtually, you know, we obviously we communicate via email, FaceTime, all that kind of stuff. So not bad, not bad at all. It's like a incubator for like entrepreneurs to come together. It's pretty cool networking here as well. Might as well just sit down here and talk to you guys for a little bit as well. Um, so we are growing. If you guys saw a couple of vlogs ago, we were talking about growing our business, bringing on some video editor interns. We're also bringing on Libling coaches because our coaching platform, which we do one-on-one -on -one coaching, Jessica's leading that and she's getting so busy. So many people are coming on board. So many people are getting great results that we need to expand. We need to bring on other Libling coaches. So we're in the process of bringing in some really good coaches as well. Uh, so yeah, business is going great, uh, managing the growth of it, managing the scaling of it, 
living the life, guys, and it's all because of you that um, you're giving us this platform that we can reach out to you guys and help you guys and build this live lean empire to help you even more. Um, so if you are like a fitness coach and you want to take your one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, your online coaching to the next level, if you're a good fit with our live lean team, you can reach out to us as well and we can kind of talk about bringing you on as a live lean coach. If, you know, we're very picky with who we bring on, but if that uh, fits with you or what I'm really looking for as well is a video intern. So a video intern would be, you can live anywhere in the world. Basically, we'd send you clips from our TV show, our Living TV show, our workouts, and you would be responsible for editing them and then sending them back to us like via Dropbox or something like that. So that would be a huge help. And uh, eventually that could turn into a full-time position. Um, but in the meantime, it would just be a part-time. But if you want to help out the Living Nation, video interns. You need to have experience though. So you can go to uh, email us at info at TV, share some of your um, videos that you may have done in the past or share on YouTube or Instagram and maybe we will bring you on the team. Guys, just got back from another Costco haul and I know you guys love seeing the foods and the drinks that we're having. So let's do this again. And uh, since the last food haul was such a success with the contest that we held, we're gonna run another contest here. So you have to tell me how much this grocery haul cost in US dollars after tax. So basically what our receipt says, whoever comes closest is going to win, let's say liveleancookbook.com. All right, so let's do this. Boom, what is that? Bradley, Vincent, Guthro. Yeah, I had a good goat for some cores. I don't know. 36 cans too. I was debating on do we really need that much, but it's just so cheap. So I don't drink beer very often, but like with with like you know sports on TV, I like to have a cold one, or if I come home from a long day's work, I like to have a cold one. So I have once one once in a while. And it's uh, you know, once in a while is not gonna do much harm to you guys. So here's we got 36 pack of that bad boy. Got some baby spinach. We got that tri-tip, which we use in our slow cooker all the time. It's delicious. A lot of grapes, so what I like to do with these is I like to take the stems off and I like to freeze them. I find frozen grapes are a really good snack um, when you kind of have that craving for something. Those, and you eat them a lot slower than when they're fresh because they're cold. So try that out. Put it in like a freezer baggie, put it in your freezer and you're good to go. We got 48 large organic eggs here from Costco. We got rotisserie chicken. So you got some people have been asking about the rotisserie chicken. It's, you know, this is just something that we get when we're kind of hungry and we want something quick and it's very delicious too. It's not the best type of meat cause it's not organic, but you know what? It's all good. We got, uh, how many? Nine one liter boxes of coconut water. I love coconut water for um, electrolytes during my workouts. Um, we have some organic sauerkraut, good probiotic food right there. Brussels sprouts. I don't understand how people can just not like Brussels sprouts or Brussels sprouts have got such a bad name for being like a really gross food over the years. So simple, like boil them in hot water, put some salt and pepper on them, some coconut oil, delicious. Also got the bitchin sauce. Chipotle style. So this, I'm not sure if this is all across the US, but this is like, um, I think it's like famous in San Diego. It's really good. It's made of almonds. So it's like a really decent, healthy stuff that you can dip, uh, you know, your veggies in or something like that. We got cherry tomatoes, big bag of onions. Onions make all kinds of foods taste better. We got our lemons. We got organic frozen chicken breasts. You know what? Cause when I buy chicken, I always freeze it because I buy it in bulk, so why not just buy it frozen and it's organic and it's probably a little bit cheaper as well. Big bag of walnuts. Now, I've never had this before, but I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about it. I'm usually a sriracha guy, but this is, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Cholula? Cholula hot sauce? I don't know, but I thought I'd give it a try. Big old tub of coconut oil back there. We got some albacore wild tuna, and this is like really higher end tuna. It's, you look at the ingredients, all it is in the ingredients is just albacore tuna and sea salt. Gotta like that. Got frozen organic blueberries, frozen organic strawberries for smoothies, 
pistachios, the salted kinds. This is another good snack. You have to crack the shell, you put it in your mouth. So it takes a little bit of time to do it so you don't overdo it when you're eating them because nuts, as you guys know, are very calorie dense. So that's a good snack food to have. My favorite nuts, macadamia nuts. We got some uh, few things of grape juice back there for post-workout. Got salsa, salsa is just a low calorie salsa uh, sauce that makes everything taste better. I love these little mini whole guacamoles, 100 calorie cups so you don't overdo it. We got organic ground beef. We got some sliced almonds all ready to go. We got organic turkey. There's two pounds of that there in case you guys are calculating costs right now. And then we got six almond milk. Sometimes we make our own homemade almond milk, but you know, if we want something quick, we'll go with this guy here for some smoothies. And then a bag of organic sweet potatoes. So I think that is it there, guys. We'll give you one last little glance of what we got. Now it's up to you. How much did you think this cost US dollars after tax? Put your answers down below. You have seven days from the posting of this video and I'm gonna pick a winner and you're gonna win Live Lean Cookbook. Oh, <laughs>